Welcome back to Nuclear News. We're diving through the fundamentals of this emerging revolutionary energy and all the assets tied to it. First, let's start with the price action of the Sprott Physical Uranium Trust. Uranium is the fuel from which nuclear energy comes from. And last week, the spot price of uranium was up 10%. The S&P 500, for comparison purposes, was up 2.57%. We've been talking about the supply-demand fundamentals of the uranium fuel, right? It's scarce. There's a supply deficit, meaning there's way more demand than there is supply above ground. And so it doesn't take much to trigger an up move in this resource. And so when investing in resources, commodities, supply demand fundamentals are everything. So let's start with the demand of the uranium, the resource. Dutch officials set funding for nuclear power program. Government officials in the Netherlands have earmarked more than $350 million to fund further development of nuclear energy in the country, including extending the operating license of this nuclear power plant. And so... Governments around the world just pumping money into this space. Manufacturing orders of nuclear power industry surge. New project approval and construction expected to be sped up. Industry insiders are optimistic about the approval of new nuclear power projects this year, with some companies saying that orders on hand have returned to historic highs as China accelerates its move to low carbon development. Taiwan considers keeping nuclear reactors on emergency standby. The island has planned to phase out nuclear power by 2025, but like almost every other country in the world, they are U-turning on these decisions and they're investing further in the space. So this is another U-turn, government to maintain reactors if power tight, right? It's a very revolutionary, dense, powerful fuel source. Governments realize this. And so most plans to phase this out have been canceled. An example is in Taiwan, among many other countries that we've covered, right? So the demand for the fuel picking up. Uranium continues to be the best performing commodity in 2023, up 14% year to date as of May 31st, and continuing to head higher now in June as the outlook for uranium prices in the nuclear sector in general is the best it has been in more than 15 years. Historical year to date uranium contracting volume sales of uranium of the fuel up massively in dark red we can see how compared to almost every other year of uranium contracting we're starting off stronger right it makes sense demand has never been stronger and so we're seeing the biggest intraday gain for the ura etf since august after the senate epw committee advances bill to aid the development of advanced nuclear reactors we have the biggest economy in the world the most powerful government in the world the u.s government supporting building out new nuclear reactors and on top of it all we have a revolutionary new technology called small modular reactor technology which is going to make these reactors portable we're in the very early stages of it an electric powered prototype of the department of energy's marvel micro reactor has successfully been installed in a manufacturing facility in pennsylvania and is gearing up for testing so we're just getting started imagine portable inexpensive dense fuel wherever it is needed that's what the future is going to look like and on the supply side right we've talked about booming exponential demand how about the supply side well it's starting to get constrained joint venture in kazakhstan delivers second batch of nuclear fuel assemblies to china because adam prom finding it more difficult to transport material to west because that a problem is absolutely massive a huge mine most of the world's uranium comes from because adam prom and the West is getting less of it. And so you're getting a polarization. We've shown the chart showing how scarce above ground uranium supply is. And it's just getting scarcer in the West because the West is losing access to Eastern uranium. China's taking all that away. So, so much going on, staying on top of this market. This discussion is for informational purposes only. Please consult a certified financial planner when making any decisions about investing. And do your own research before making any decisions. Investments are risky and you can lose lots of money in them.